Before we start our lesson for today, I am inviting all of you to join us in a magical learning experience at home. Enroll now at Vibal's Happy Homeschool Program. You can find the details at the description part of this video. Hope to see you there! The focus of our discussion for today plays an important role in our life. Without this, you cannot hear your surroundings or identify music from noise. What do you think it is? Aha! Uh -huh, we're talking about sounds! Hi everyone! Welcome to another episode of our Scientific Friday! I am Teacher Janelle and I'm on a journey again to understand the different things around us. Are you ready to join me for today's lesson? Come on! Have you ever imagined how you will dance if you cannot hear the sounds? How will you sing? How will you even watch or understand a TV show? It just shows how really important sound is in our daily lives. It helps us enjoy the things around us and communicate with others. For today's lesson, we will know more about the characteristics of a sound. In this topic, we will explore the following. What is a sound? What are the characteristics of a sound? What are the roles of each characteristic in distinguishing a sound? Let us first define what a sound is. Sound is a type of energy made by vibration that travels through the air and can be heard when it reaches a person's ear. Examples are a boombox blaring, an airplane taking off, and a balloon popping. Can you give examples of sound? Great! Now, let's know more about the characteristics of a sound. There are three characteristics of a sound. Wavelength, amplitude, and velocity. Let's start with the wavelength. What is a wavelength? It is a sound wave that indicates the distance that a wave travels before it repeats itself. The wavelength is a longitudinal wave that shows the compressions and rarefactions of a sound wave. Wavelength can also be referred to as the distance between identical points between two successive waves. The distance between one crest of one wave and the next corresponds to the wavelength. Wavelength is inversely proportional to frequency. This means that if two waves are traveling at the same speed, the wave with the higher frequency will have a shorter wavelength. Likewise, if one wave has a longer wavelength than another wave, it will also have a lower frequency if both waves are traveling at the same speed. Next is the amplitude. It refers to the magnitude of compression and expansion experienced by the medium the sound wave is traveling through. The amplitude is perceived by our ears as loudness. When a sound has high amplitude, it produces loud sounds. Loudness is a sensation of how strong a sound wave is at place. It is measured in decibels and is given as L equals log times I where I is the intensity. Loudness depends on the amplitude of the vibration. It will be louder if the amplitude is high. Example, when you pluck the string of a guitar hard, the string will vibrate with a greater amplitude and it will produce a louder sound compared to the sound it produces when you pluck the string softly. When the amplitude of vibration increases, the sound also increases. Lastly, the velocity. It is a characteristic of a sound wave 
that tells us how fast the wave is moving and is expressed in meters per second. Since the speed of a wave is defined as the distance that a point on a wave, such as a compression or a rarefaction, travels per unit of time, it is often expressed in units of meters per second. In equation form, it is speed equals distance over time. The faster a sound wave travels, the more distance it will cover in the same period of time. For example, if a sound wave were observed to travel a distance of 700 meters in 2 seconds, then the speed of the sound wave would be 350 meters per second. A slower wave would cover less distance, perhaps 660 meters, in the same time period of 2 seconds. Thus, the speed would be 330 meters per second. Faster waves cover more distance in the same period of time. For our activity, can you identify the following characteristics of a sound that are shown on each image? How long is the wave? How do particles vibrate away from their resting position? How fast does the wave move through the medium? There you have it! We just learned a lot about the characteristics of a sound. Make sure to remember what you have learned today. And the world is filled with interesting facts like this. Before we end our lesson for today, I am inviting you again to join us in a magical learning experience at home. Enroll now at Vival's Happy Homeschool program. You can find the details at the description part of this video. Hope to see you there! I hope you learned a lot today and apply these learnings in your daily lives. Join me again for our next Scientific Friday and together, let us discover things around us. Because science is everywhere! This has been Teacher Janelle for Teacher Vival. Goodbye everyone!